Hey you guys, it descended my skin, looks great, yes. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, the day after Christmas, we had a fabulous Christmas, right baby? Mm -hmm. you, you need to be a little bit more cheerful though. It's like whatever, we, mama. We did. We had a fabulous Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, baby. That that was better. You see how I taught him well, girl. Uh, yeah, we had a great Christmas. It was so great to see JB open up all his presents. Cause at this age, those of you who don't know, JB, JB is five and a half. Got to put that half in a girl. Five and a half, and it's so good to be able. It's a different skill level than he was when he was four. Um, opening up his presents. So he was so. He was so grateful. He was like, you, you are the best mommy in the whole planet. I'm like, oh, he even, he made me a, a card. He had, um, we and, had. And then I made, and then I gave you a present. He gave me a present, yes. So, it is the day after, and I'm about those sales, girls. So, we are going to go to Target because those little cute little plush um, ornaments I was showing you guys, no, no, I want to be, <laughs> JB's afraid of them, but I'm going to get a frill. I'm going to put them on the other side of the Christmas tree so you won't see it. But my Christmas I, tree, I, you better not I may have to get, throw, you know what, but, but I think he may be air conditioning. If you I'm get, looking at this guy next door. If, if you get the brother. Those, I'll throw No, them no outside. you're not, no you're not, you better hush up. So anyway, we're on our way there, but real quick, I'm going to tell you guys this. I am all for education, but I am more so for developing a skill set. Now that I'm a little bit older, not, and I have a higher education. I have a master's degree in human dynamics, organizational change, not even using it. Because I thought at the time it would be a good idea. Um, and I've heard, you guys have heard me talk about this before. I think it's really important, especially for our younger people, so that they're not getting a un ridiculously amount of money in debt because I'm not signing for no type of loans nor daddy or not are not doing that we are instilling in JB to develop a skill set go to trade school go to junior college learn about bookkeeping accounting be your own business partner the reason why I'm bringing this up is because um, I have a stepson he's a little bit older like a little bit girl he's 18 yes my husband had him when when we were in college and so um, he spoke to him because it was holiday it was the holidays it was Christmas yesterday and so he has a full scholarship to go to any college right now and he decided to get a degree in psychology and my husband and I look at each other like psychology Okay, so it's not to say he can't use it, but it's just one of those degrees that is like, I know a lot of people who have degrees, like I have, hell me, you know, who have degrees like that. And I know people who have master's degrees, PhDs, and they're in fields that have nothing to do with their degrees, and, but they're having to pay all this, back all this student loan money. So my husband said, he said, I'm not going to push it, but he's like, I, I try to let him know he needs to develop a Guys. skill. All right, y'all, so let me show y'all what I got. We went to Target and to Fry's, because of course the day after, they always have sales, girls, sales, sales, sales. So they had these cute little ornaments that I saw at Target before Christmas, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till they go on sale. So these were just $1.50, aren't these adorable? Since someone was acting crazy, I couldn't really shop how I wanted to, um, so I just got three of them, this one, this one. Don't. And this one, isn't this cute? A dollar fifty. No, it does not look cute. Got, it looks so scary. Got some coffee on sale, two ninety nine, and these bag of twenty bowls for next year for a dollar. Um, I still have holiday wrapping paper, so we're good. Hey y'all, it is Friday. It's Friday, and I'm ready to swing, girl. A whole nother pitch. <laughs> oh y'all. I'm gonna do a little bit of venting. I just, I thought y'all told me that this would get better. Things will get better as far as my child goes. JB woke up at four o'clock this morning. He's been waking up at 5 a.m. all week and I know it's because he's not in school. And when I tell you I am tired, baby, I am tired. I am so sleepy. Normally I get up at 4 a.m. but he's literally been waking me up. Um, and I'm one of those type of sleepers. Now, first of all, I have insomnia. I do go to bed early, so I try to be in bed by 9 o'clock. 
and then but I'm one of those type of people I can wake up at one o'clock in the morning and watch a video or two and go back to sleep and my husband is the same way quite as a cap he'll wake up at five look at a video or two or respond to his other girlfriend <laughs> But yeah, I'm at, I'm at Fry's grocery store to pick up some couple of more groceries. But yeah, it, I'm sorry, back to JB. It's just been, y'all, I am so ready for his ass. <clears throat> I'm so ready for him to go back to school. He will be off until January 7th, though. And what is Christine? Christine, you are off. Christine, don't be don't be answering emails when you're off, girl. Um, Christine is my coworker and friend, y'all. Um, He's off to January 7th, and it's just December What's the date, y'all? What's the date? December 28th. When I tell you I'm over this child, y'all know me. Or you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I don't sit at home. We have activities. So typically on the weekend, we're all doing something. Well, JB is anticipating that that's what we're going to be doing. And I keep trying to tell him, we are on vacation. We are on ho holiday. You know, like, like the, the English say. We're on holiday. We're on vacation. We're not doing anything. And he throws a damn fit. 50 shades of crazy fit and I'm, I'm over it so you know now he's gotten used to it since he's been home now for about six days straight he's gotten used to it like okay I'm not going anywhere but today I told him I'll take him over to Miss Lori's house so he could play with Miss Lori <laughs> y'all Miss Lori they so crotchety they her mother-in-law is in town and when I tell you she is petty as hell towards her mother-in-law anyway I'm not gonna talk about people's business but I think it's kind of funny I think it's funny and sad at the same time because I like I like old people so anyway um, I got some condiments and stuff for things that I'm going to make for today. I'm going to make some hot wings and, um, what am I going to make? Hot wings, some roasted potatoes, and collard greens. So I'll take collard greens with kale. But I picked up JB and his green eggs and ham whenever we go out, uh, as a family. And we, in my husband's vehicle, he, because he has the CD player. I got him a new CD. I got some, you know, household stuff. Got JB some soap. But I also picked up these cute little sleds because right now ornaments are 50% off. So this matches my theme. And so I picked up three of these because they're only 50 cents at 50% off at the Dollar Tree. Everything else is household stuff. Child, she got some wine boxes. Girl, these people look... New Year's Eve. Are y'all doing anything for New Year's? I'm not going to want to load this video up. Are y'all doing anything? My country paranoid, but I can count on one hand how many times I've been out cel officially celebrating New Year's. I don't do that. I'm afraid. I don't do that. I'm going to be home. Now, I will probably... Girl, I'm not going to be with my husband. Counting down. I'm going to bed. My Y'all really can't see me. Um... This is what I was going to tell you guys. I went ahead and ordered some more hair products. And um, the first half of next year would definitely be, you know, the comparison series. But the next half will be about my healthy hair journey. Uh, yet again, I feel like, let me go to my orders. I, ordered, I also ordered a happy planner, y'all. So I got the... Um, Old school, girl. Old school. What y'all know about that uh, Giovanni? Giovanni Direct Leave-In. The best leave-in conditioner to date is Kim A, T Kim A Tube's DIY recipe for the leave-in conditioner. That is the best for my hair, especially if you low porosity. If you don't know what the Kim A Tube leave-in, look her up. I may do a video on it. I don't know. Um, but what I use, I use a Giovanni Direct Leave-In. I use jojoba oil and aloe vera juice. Let me tell you what else I ordered. I also ordered the TGIN Buttercream. I like her Buttercream more so than the um, Twist and Divine Cream. And of course, I ordered jojoba oil. That's all I needed. Um, I have enough hair products, but that's what I needed to, con you know, get my hair to where it needs to be at. Um, tell me why. Tell me why. So I look at whenever I want to look, you know, do a new, uh, a new makeup look. I look at makeup tutorials, like I think a lot of us do. I was going through. I think her name is Nikki Swift. I don't know what country she's in. She's European. Um, one of her videos that got a quite, I mean, she, she has a huge following. I mean, she's a big time YouTuber, makeup guru is what they call them. And she had Rihanna's makeup artist doing her hair. I mean, doing her makeup. And I 
going through the, you know, and I'm going through this the comments because I'm looking at this woman's foundation. When I tell you it is damn near perfection and flawless, I'm like, what type of sorcery? Why did I go through a couple of comments and someone mentions that she used a blurring filter? What? Why didn't I know anything? So that lead me to watching Wayne, who I like. I love Wayne. He's a makeup artist. I forgot his last name. And he has great tips on doing um, makeup because he's been in the game for a while. He ain't, he ain't no spring chicken, baby. He's been in the game for a while. So he literally shows you on cam before and after using a, a blurring filter. And I'm like, yo, so you... Now it's like, who do you believe when it comes to a review? Because sometimes I will look up. I don't do it as much as now because I'm pretty much, I'm okay on makeup part. But when I want to try a new makeup or try, you know, to figure out how to use an actual product, I will look up a tutorial. So you have these makeup artists, makeup YouTubers or whatever using this particular filter and it's giving them an illusion of perfection. So when you go home and use the same product, your ass is looking like, so Wayne, look it up y'all. Some of y'all probably already know it. Wayne shows you what the filter looks. I mean, it literally, there's no skin discoloration. There's an even, before he even put on any makeup, everything's even. There's no redness. There's no under eye lines. So I'm like, this is a bunch of damn foolery. Seriously? But then a part of me was like, oh, will that work for my hair? <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Um, so it is the weekend after Christmas. This is gonna be a long vlog, so get ready, girl. Get your snacks, get your coffee, get your, your alcohol, if you're drinking alcohol. Baby, I'll show you in a minute. So we woke up, well, at least I woke up super early. JB has been waking up at four, between four and five o'clock every day because he's not in school. So he's going to bed early, like seven o'clock. Sometimes he's trying to go to bed at 6.30 and I'm, Anyway, so it's okay because I'm up. Um, but today I got up super early because we got our new TV situated. Let me show y'all what it looks like. This is a curved, you can see it curved like that. This is a 55 inch curved smart TV. And right now JB's looking at YouTube. Um, but let me show you guys. Um, that's enough, that's enough syrup. This child is eating pancakes. Pancakes, let me go to the home. So what I did, Girl, I was not playing. We, I'm not gonna do it. It's gonna come up. I'm not doing anything. It's coming up, okay? So what I did, baby, uh, my husband put it together yesterday, and this morning I got up early to reinstate my Netflix and I sleep. Told you to stop. Hey, you need. My <laughs> I was going to tell me to stop. Um, reinstated my Netflix, got Sling TV, and YouTube. There's also Hulu, Hulu, but no. Yeah, because our bill, I told y'all, my bill last month was like 130 140 The package was $88 before tax, and they charge you for the equipment and everything. So Netflix is 10 My Sling TV is 35 That's $45. And I got added packages on Sling TV. If I wanted to, I can get Hulu. But I'm okay mm -hmm. with Sling, Netflix, and our YouTube. Mm -hmm. My Sling, let me back out of this, because JB's looking at YouTube. Look at the picture to Morgan, okay? I've been looking at Miss Delightful Girl and keeping up appearances. <laughs> oh, let me look me up, y'all. Yes! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> JB's like, no, I wanna look at Morgan. Hold on, how do I pack, back this up? Hey, hey, twerk, twerk. Look how good we look, boo boo. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, I'm my business, I'm my biggest, uh, what do you call it? I'm my, I'm my biggest fan. <laughs> Tonight is date night. Yes, girl. So I'm gonna try to do show y'all what I'm gonna be wearing. I'm gonna be wearing one of my sweater dresses. Girl, I only have four, like four sweater dresses. That, that's a lot. I have about five or so sweater dresses. Um, I have a lot of dresses. I would say out of all of the different type of clothes I have, 
I have a lot of dresses. There was a point in time where all I wore were dresses and skirts into the office. So I just like to be feminine. Um, I have about done. Well, then throw it away. Hell, am I done? Um, I don't know, about 40 to 50 dresses. Yes. So I'm gonna be wearing a cute eggplant. Me, I've seen this before, sweater dress, but it is cold here. We go out like once every two weeks, and Mama throw back. <laughs> I'm, I know, I know, pray for me. Um, but I have these, well, what is my point? I like to have dessert when I get back home. I don't know why, but I like to have something sweet to eat. So I have these sweet potatoes that are going a little bad. What I'm going to do is make a sweet potato pound cake. Now I looked at some recipes, but I'm gonna call my mama. I'm gonna call my mama cause she's really good. This is one of her famous um, pound cakes. I'm gonna call her and ask her how she makes it. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna make that. And then tomorrow I'm gonna make orange chicken. I'll show y'all how I make that too. I'm gonna put a little, a little bit more, going back to putting a, a little bit more cooking into my vlogs, like I used to. Remember how I used to? Yeah, cause I'm not gonna be doing separate videos. I'm sorry, but I'll make sure to. Um, I, I, I cleaned this thing up, look. Dang, <laughs> Jamie ate all those pancakes. He loves the pancakes at McDonald's. You ate them all. Now baby, what you will really like are whole cakes. Y'all know what whole cakes are? Those of you from, from Texas and Louisiana, you probably know what whole cakes are. Whole cakes are basically um, a corn cornmeal and it's like the, it's like a mix between hot water, cornbread, hot water cornbread and a pancake. It's basically a pancake with cornmeal. Um, and people in the country, child, my parents would eat, my mama would make some whole cakes with fried fish. So these are the ingredients for the sweet potato pound cake. I'm using cooking with Carolyn's recipe, kind of tweaking it a little bit. I'm only gonna, get, she used one stick of butter. I'm gonna use one and a half sticks. Ray, uh, Ray cooking, um, y'all know who he is. He comments every now and then on one of my videos. He uses two sticks of butters, uh, two stick of butter y'all. Um, Carolyn uses one cube or one block of cream cheese. I'm gonna use half a block. So I've been cooking for a while so I know how to, you know, adjust measurements what you don't want to mess with is stuff that will help it to rise like your baking powder baking sodas i kept that the same in your flour um so yeah three cups of flour then i have my cinnamon nutmeg vanilla four eggs still going to do four eggs this is going to be for my icing i want to do a cream cheese icing which is why i'm only going to use half a stick of that cream cheese okay i'm going to be linking her both of their videos below in the description box This is not just anything. Even the mother-in-law, when I bought some cookies over there, she was like, you are a good baker. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ooh, look at this hair. Yeah, this is a wash and go. Looks good, huh? Taking down styles are, is very, very easy now that my ends are shorter. Um, you can still see, see? You can see that unevenness. Let me stop talking about it and just make it come out a little bit more. Yeah. Oh well. Ain't nobody gonna be looking at me. They gonna be looking at my beat. Yes, this purple. A little messy, but what can you do? Let me show y'all what I'm wearing. I have on this purple sweater dress. This is the dress. It's a real pretty purple. Um, can you even see that? These boots. My best friend bought me these boots a couple of years ago. These roasted potatoes, let me turn this down. These roasted potatoes are so good. Let me tell you the trick to make them flavorful. One tablespoon of real butter to two tablespoons of a good quality olive oil. Yeah, I couldn't figure out what we we're gonna eat today. So I literally have potatoes, rice. Sorry, you guys had the vegetables early, earlier. We got collard greens, broccoli, carrots. Gonna fry up the orange chicken in here, make the sauce. And yeah, oh my gosh, this is so good. I already packed my husband some food for tomorrow.
the sideshow bob puff <laughs> y'all first of all one of the reasons why i don't look through puffs is because it's so heavy and my head's starting to hurt a little bit but after the first few minutes i'll get used to it i need to do a puff for at least two days before i wash my hair it is sunday i have a bit of a hangover um i don't know why i do tequila y'all normally i'm weird I first of all I normally can't I can't do tequila clearly anymore but I can mix my drinks so last time we went to this place I had tequila a tequila drink and a drink of vodka and I was okay the next morning this time I just had two drinks two margaritas and I'm done like I, I woke up sick not like vomiting or anything just didn't feel good and this morning I was like yeah so took me a magnesium <laughs> Took some vitamins, drank a lot of water, ate half of a, of a banana for some potassium, and I'm feeling good. I want to invest in a printer. Apparently, last night we bought. I have a balloon. JB has a balloon. Apparently, last night we bought a sound box. Girl, I was lit. I don't even remember buying that. I remember going around, looking around at Best Buy, but that's it. I don't know how we got home. Two. I'm a lightweight, y'all. Cause you can tell I mostly drink wine. So and, and yesterday we went to um kids park and they and they got this balloon for, for you got that at kids park. See, I didn't remember him getting this balloon. It, and I made slime, but but the teacher didn't know where it where it was. So we're so we're making slime today. Oh oh, I didn't know that. We're not gonna make slime today. We will make it this week. JV's gonna be home for another week. Tomorrow, Did so. I say that last night? Yeah. You, you can't yeah. trust anything I said last night. Don't trust anything I said last night. Hey, you guys. So, <clears throat> I had a appointment with another dermatologist today. Only because the dermatologist I went to, he was great. But it's a man. And I'm having some eczema type issues on my breast. However, the dermatologist told me that she thinks I'm reacting to the surgery sutures. Guys, that, pancakes again. Um, okay, baby, go sit down. She said it'll take, it typically takes from the time of surgery to now, time of surgery, a year, almost a year for those sutures to completely dissolve. So she wrote me a prescription for like a tub of the steroid cream, but she told me that you can only take it for a week, but I need to, <laughs> I need to be on a daily antihistamine. So she's like, are you on any type of acid medication? Jamie, hold on, you see me doing this. Um, I told her, I said, well, I was on Singular, but I got off of that due to anxiety. So she said I can take like Claritin or Benadryl, which for some reason, I checked my cabinet. I don't have any of that. JB has tons of stuff. So later on today, when I hold on, baby, later on today, when I go pick up my other, other medication, well, the um, steroid cream, I'm going to go ahead and get me like some off-brand Benadryl. What really works for me is Zyrtec, but it's so expensive. They don't want to hear that. Mama. Whatever you got to do. I'm trying to tell you it. Why the hell do you have on a hat and a jacket with a hood on? Uh, I... Okay, tell me something, but go ahead. Let me take put this camera down, y'all. Because I'm, I'm fixing my breakfast. Go ahead, baby. Let me know. Um, Come over here so they can see you. I forgot. You forgot? Yeah. Speaking of forgetting about stuff, y'all, I was just watching a video. It is so sad what's happening with B. Smith. I was gonna do a chit chat this week, but I really don't wanna record this week. We literally have one more vacation, one more weekend till our vacation, so this is gonna be a long ass vlog. I'm, it may be an hour long because I'm not, I don't have the time to chop up these, all of this footage and load it up into two videos. I, I don't have time. What's the point? Oh, I was gonna do a chit chat video. <laughs> and um, I wanted to talk about B. Smith and her husband and his side piece. I Those know of you who now. don't, of course you know now. What is it? What is it, child? Um, I um put um my mini iPhone in the floor. In the floor? Yeah. Let me check on my bread. I was just watching a video on B. Smith, and apparently her husband is seeing another woman. Those of you who don't know, B. Smith was basically like the black version of Martha Stewart. I loved her show. It will come on PBS. Was it PBS or another channel? I will watch it as a teenager. Um, B. Smith is absolutely beautiful. In her prime, she was top-notch chocolate. 
she has red undertones, overtones or something. Her skin is like this red hue, beautiful brown skin. No, I'm not, hush. So, so what's the point, girl? Okay, so let me back up. Last week, I was on Facebook and I'm, you know, I liked their page a long time ago, like years ago, right? Her page. Well, he since has named it to like B. Smith and Dan or whatever. I noticed a couple of posts from him basically just talking about, because he's, he's the main caregiver for her, excuse me. Those of you who don't know, let me back up again. I'm so sorry. B. Smith was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's at like... She was diagnosed with early on of early Alzheimer's at like 63, 62. Absolutely devastating. I remember there was a time where she was lost. Was it New York, you guys? She was lost for like 16, 18 hours in New York. First of all, if they knew that she had early onset, why would they? Anyway, I was looking at a couple of posts from him, right? And I hadn't seen posts in a while. So every now and then, and I noticed a couple of women, one woman in particular was basically like, I can't believe you, Dan, you out here, you know, with another woman in your house with B, with B there. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And his posts are so inappropriate. He's cursing. He's talking about having to wipe her and I'm like, this is what you sign up for. This is for better or for worse. Do sixes any help with that? Why are you? I, I understand a part of him was venting. If you can't do it, she was a millionaire, is a millionaire. Hire help. Put that woman somewhere to where she could get help around the clock, which is what she needs. And he's not up for it. Not only that, but apparently he has a girlfriend. He made some post y'all a while back talking about this. This is a bunch of foolery, I almost cursed. He made some posts talking about, um, I can't hang on to the past. I gotta live my life. So you gotta be a man hoe? If you don't wanna be... Can he even legally divorce her if she's not mentally there? That is just horrible. I'm sorry, that is sad. I, I have, and I wanna ask, like, where is her family? I know they didn't have any kids together. She doesn't have any children at all. Where is her family in this? Why haven't they said anything? Or maybe they have and we don't know. Oh, that's disgusting, isn't it? Y'all look, y'all can look up the post yourself on Facebook. Dan, Dan and B Smith. I know I'm talking country. Dan, D-A-N and B Smith, and you can see his posts. And this, this is not someone who's you know 30 years old, 20, 30 years old, acting crazy. This man is in his 60s acting like this. A mess, just a mess. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make a frozen pizza butter. Now my husband's at. So now. I try not to eat frozen food just because of the sodium content, but every now and then, girl, I don't feel like cooking. So tonight, I'm having a real frozen pizza. Um, I'll probably only have half of this pizza, and yeah, I'll save the other half for tomorrow. I don't know. I Sometimes I've been able to cut the frozen pizza, but I don't feel like doing that. Um, so the, one of the first things you can do is flip the pizza over and brush olive oil on the back, which I'm going to do in a second. But... I have had this pizza before. This is a um, signature collection so by Kroger's and Fry's out here. And I got the Sicilian um, spicy Italian sausage. And it's a pretty good pizza because of the crust. It's really good crust. So fresh ingredients. This already has um, tomatoes and cheese. So I'm going to stick with that motif or whatever. I do have other ingredients in there like spinach, peppers. Um, but I really don't like spinach on my pizza. I do have some jalapenos. I'm trying not to have spicy food right now. So what I do have is some mozzarella, some tomatoes, and some fresh parsley. And then I'm going to be adding also some fresh garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasonings, and some, um, is that it? Red pepper flakes. Okay, well. Or radio shack. And that's my frozen pizza. I'm going to pop this in 400. I mean, I'm just going to do it according to the directions between 10 to 12 minutes. More like 12 to 14 minutes. And it should be done. This is what the pizza looks like. All done. Crust. You hear that? Crunchy. You guys, it is the day after. Well, no, it's New Year's. We didn't do anything last night. Um, let me tell you something. I am freaking stressed out, y'all. Whoever came up with the idea of a winter break should have their head examined. 
I wish I could say that I've been having a good time with my time off. I have not. I, JB is stressing me the hell out and everything's closed every other day. So it's not like, you know, and I honestly, I wanted to sit home and chill. And this child is so used. Maybe I created a monster. He is so used to being out and about. He's driving me crazy, wanting to know where are we going? When are we going? And then crying and having a fit because we're not going anywhere. Mind you, some of the footage y'all have been seeing, we've been going out every two days. And at this point, I just want to stay home and be quiet and chill out. And he just doesn't want to. <sighs> I'm sorry to vent. This, these are the times where I wish I lived close to my family or friends. And again, there is no one. We have no one here. There's no one that I could call up or have to come over. <laughs> Um, yeah, and for some reason we have an extreme, I feel like we have an extremely long vacation. I mean, he was, he's been out since the 20th, the 21st. He's been out since the 21st and it's just now January 1st and he won't go back to the 8th of January. I am so over it. Um, a lot of the things I was supposed to have done, so one of the major things was cleaning my blinds. I haven't even had a chance to do, I'm hoping I could do it Friday when he's at the, the camp. Fell. He's gonna go to camp tomorrow, thank God, and I'll be able to Mama, wash my hair. I wanna, I wanna show you something. I'll be able to wash my hair and do a wash day. Um, I'm, I'm just, y'all. Girl. It came out of a dark web mess. So, this is the thing, too, I'm a little stressed, not necessarily stressed out about, but we were planning on having a little getaway you know to go to Sedona and yeah. Sedona Don't is mystery, is getting um some bad weather and to the point to where I think I, I looked at the temperature the high is a 50 which is okay but it's going to be raining and who wants to go to a place where primarily you're outdoors and it's going to be cold and rainy so I'm going to I'm going to speak to my husband about it again and be like, we, we may want to consider, we are gonna spend all this money going up there just to be inside. I mean, Sedona's beautiful. And normally this time of the year is hit or miss, but looking at the weather, personally, I don't want to go up there when it's raining. And I don't think we should, I don't think we should. Um, and I think I mentioned, perhaps I didn't, the Jeep tours we were doing, they won't be available because it's snowing on top of the mountains. So yeah. Woo, girl. <laughs> Y'all, it is cold. It is 35 degrees here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I just dropped JB off at his school. He was so worried that there would be, first of all, this is still their winter break. It's January 2nd. Girl, it's still, still their winter break. And so I signed him up for two days this week, Wednesday, which is today, and then Friday, so that he can, you know, be around some kids and we can have some time <laughs> to do what we need to do because I've been working. I've only had one day off this week. I haven't been working. I've been checking in on my emails. Um, but my point is that I've only had one day off this week. And typically this time for us, um, those of us who work in the system, we're actually busy. It's steady busy. Um, we're going migrating towards a new system and a new release. So I need to be working. So <laughs> he's here and he was a little concerned he's like mommy I don't know if there's gonna be any kids my age there are any any little kids but JB is so it's part of his personality but I've also has I have built my child up to where he doesn't need to be around little kids to have fun he has enough um what do you call it y'all sorry he has enough he has good self-esteem to where he would be able to play with bigger kids if he needed to be and sure enough i dropped him off and most of the kids there are smaller kids so that makes me feel better but i told him i would pick him up a little early um drop him off at eight and they actually offer care from 6 a.m to 6 p.m same price you don't pay you know any difference for after school care you know because technically it's not um after school care it's just care um I'm not going to do that. I would pick him up at 2 o'clock, I told him. So 8 to 2, what is that, 6 hours? Yeah, I'll pick him up at 2 o'clock. 6 hours is good. Um, and then Friday, I think we'll do even less. Um, so right now, I'm going to go to the store, y'all. My breasts are on fire. 
I know y'all don't want to hear that, but now it's getting to the point to where my my skin is chafing. Oh, how, is that how you say it? Some of the skin is getting flaky because I have literally had eczema since, and I'm itching now, I'm sorry. I've had eczema since August, and now we're in January. Let me move up some. There's a person behind me. Um, and I'm just going to come around here. It is so itchy, y'all. Um, and the medication I'm getting... They got me a tub of it, and uh, let me just come out here, y'all. There's no one here, so. They ordered me a tub of it, because it only comes in the little small tubs of 30 milligrams. Well, they ordered me a huge tub, and it wasn't there yesterday at the pharmacy, so they said they have we have to wait on it. So, I need to go get me some allergy medicine. <coughs> um, What's the point? So, I got six hours to make do. Go here, go to fries, pick up my stuff, go home, straighten up a little bit. I thought I would maybe do me able maybe be able to do a workout. That's not gonna happen. Um, I have gained some weight, <laughs> some holiday pounds, maybe like three pounds, but when you're short, I'm five, three and a half. When you're short, three pounds can make make a make a do you. Anyway, I can't work out, just watch what I eat instead. Um, so yeah, go run these errands real quick, go home, straighten up. And start doing some work. I'm gonna pre poo my hair first because it's in a wash and go. I know a lot of you said that you normally won't wear wash and goes. You don't like wash and goes because it gets tangled a lot. That's true, but what I find works for me is to pre poo my hair and let it sit for like an hour or so with some, you know, um, under a plastic bag. And then I I do detangle my hair in the shower at that point because I have stuff in my hair. And boom, it just those those knots will come out and I still use nappy headed jojoba's recipe it is the bomb.com and I really think it's the coconut milk and the apple cider vinegar which helps to break down those knots I really do think so and of course whatever type of rinse out conditioner that you're using with that recipe I do have a video on that all right you guys hey how are y'all doing it is Friday I know this vlog is literally going to span over two weeks it is the first week of January and I'm feeling a certain type of way because Look, I have ordered so much stuff in the past two weeks. Like, it is ridiculous. Um, let me back up. It's the first week of January. It's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. Speaking of Aaliyah, yeah, I know what I want to say. Apparently, R. Skelly, R. R. Kelly, um, Lifetime did a, they're in the middle of a documentary regarding, what is it called, y'all? <laughs> Living with R. Kelly or uh, surviving R. Kelly, excuse me. Lifetime picked up the show and it's a six part series and apparently they did two last night. I wasn't aware that Lifetime was going to be doing this, but I saw so many people already reviewing it. I saw a little bit, bit of Ashley Miller. She's a fellow YouTuber. I saw a little bit of her video. Hold on, y'all. I feel like my lips. Let me get some chapstick. Hold on, y'all. This video, and I don't think I'm going to be able to watch it. I really do not think I'm going to be able to watch this. It just sickens me. And there's a couple of people on my friends list that I've had to um, either block or ignore. They're okay, this is how I feel. These are my feelings, and we're going to move on. I do feel like that there are certain people in the industry who are targeted and uh, some false accusations or put against one who I really do think to this day was always innocent was Michael Jackson only because there was some evidence that had came out afterwards that showed that he didn't touch any of those kids um, and I don't know if any of you guys realize it but the first father that accused Michael Jackson of touching his child ended up committing suicide and I believe the child whose name is now an adult named Jordan he came out and said that his father his father had uh made him lie and so Michael Jackson is one of those people who I always thought was innocent I also feel like Michael Jackson was used by a lot of people in the industry um, he was pimped not sexually but pimped musically for his talents by a lot of people in the industry the fact that there are so many people I know you guys have heard this already there are so many grown-ass people I've seen comments like they know what they were doing referring to the young girls who were molested they know what they were doing and I saw some, I've seen some comments by men saying, well, these girls didn't look their age. They didn't look like they were 14 and 15. 
So just because they didn't look like it, and more nine times out of, out of ten, the men, grown ass men, finally realize that they're only 14 and 15, and they still pursue these young women. When you're 14, 15 years old, you cannot consent to sex because you're not an adult. Okay? It is just disgusting, you guys, especially in the black community, how we still protect known pedophiles we do it in the music industry we do it in the church we do it in our families and it's just something that we do not speak about this man is a pedophile r kelly is a pedophile it is known that he married or he married Aaliyah at a young age not only that when the Aaliyah story story came out i was i was on some of the facebook groups i'm in a lot of groups and so i was reading people who were reading comments from people who were in chicago stating that they knew he was a pedophile all this time. And apparently before R. Kelly got really, really big, when he was doing local concerts, and I believe he was even singing in the subway or something like that, he would purposely go to high schools and let you know people know about what he was doing. He would target young girls at high schools. And he's singing grown ass songs made for adults. <sighs> I stopped listening to R. Kelly way back. I think I was in college when those accusations came out. He was peeing on those young girls. Absolutely disgusting. Do y'all remember there was a story that had ran on BET and the interview was basically like, do you have, and this is not word for word, but the guy interviewing R. Kelly was basically like, do you have a thing for young girls or teenagers? And you know, and so R. Kelly was like, define teenagers. What, what age are we talking about? Why do you need to be that? why do you need to be that specific r kelly that was that is weird it, he gives me weird vibes he creeps me the hell out okay creepy as hell anyway y'all back I, I went on a tangent on that i don't think i'm gonna be able to watch it i'm not gonna watch it i'll look at the reviews but i'm not i don't think i'll be able to watch it um anyway so yes <laughs> girl i got heated i have been shopping y'all i when i tell you i have so many things coming in first of all it's jb's birthday next week so i gotta get things in order we're not doing anything i know i would definitely be going crazy um planning planning a party for him so we're not doing a party girl two introverts having an uh, extrovert child is not fun he wants to have a party he wants to do all that hold on y'all drive and then park um, but we canceled the trip to Sedona because it's very cold. Like right now here in Phoenix is 37 and it's cooler up in Sedona because it's going up north. Um, and so what we decided to do, to do, like I mentioned earlier, is we got a hotel room and a nice part of Scottsdale. But we always go to this restaurant that's literally like, like I said, walking distance. So we'll go there. Um, the morning of we're going to go to the Legoland. Shit, I'm... I know my husband wants to do things as a family. I'm this close to Canton Legoland and I'm inviting two or three of his little friends out to Chuck E. Cheese's because Legoland is going to cost $55. And that's, that's the deal. 50 is $20, almost $60. It's $20 a person and then $14, $12 for, for a child. Chuck E. Cheese's is $10. Hell, I'll buy them all. I'll get them all coins for $20. Y'all, I'm cheap like that. I, I don't think I want to spend $55 on two hours of foolery. But it's my baby's birthday. He's not necessarily getting a birthday present um, because we're doing all this for him. I mean, it's going to be like a weekend long event. Yeah, we spoil him. Um, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to redo his room, y'all. I'm going to redecorate it Pac-Man style. So I've already started getting some stuff. I'm going to surprise it for him that Friday. I'm going to bring donuts for his friends on Friday for his birthday. Get him balloons. I'm going to be busy as hell on Friday, but I took that day off. And I will more than likely start preparing things uh, like now. A lot of it's going to be DIY, um, but I did order some new bedding for him. There's things you could do around if you want to redo your room. There's things you could do um, DIY to where you're not spending a lot of money. Spending a lot of money. I think because I did get him new bedding. And um, I ordered something else today, this morning from Wafer. I ordered a bean bag. So I think overall, I've spent almost 200, not really, almost 200. But that includes new bedding, okay, and a, and a piece of furniture. I think that's damn good. Yeah, 200, around 180, between 180 to 200 is how much I've spent so far, and that's it. I'm not spending any more money. Um, but yeah, I've been spending. <laughs> Besides that, I bought some glasses through Fermo. They had a sale on to where frames were free. 
Um, but I was smart. I got the glasses on December 31st, so I'm gonna use my insurance. I'm gonna, once that invoice comes in, I'm gonna download that, send it to my insurance so I can get that paid for, for free. Yeah, y'all been spending a lot of money getting some stuff. Um, I ordered him some stuff through Children's Place, and I put in an Amazon order. What did I order that stuff from Amazon? like Amazon is slacking on on um, orders you guys I think that Amazon when they first started out for like the first four or five years they were real good at sending stuff out pretty fast is it me I feel like maybe they spoiled us I think that's what it is you know how they would say well you would get it within five to seven business days it used to be you would get it sometimes before five days I'm now I'm seeing that they're not even shipping stuff out till damn near the fifth business day so I'm gonna give you guys an update on my hair. It feels good. This is the first time with me seeing it without stretch out and really, so hold on, sorry, without, um, because <sighs> immediately afterwards when she cut my hair, Miss Erlet cut my hair, she blew it out, so that stretched. Then I did a wash and go with just ultimate shrinkage, but then I stretched it out with banding. This is it two days after washing and when i tell you this is really i'm like wow my hair yeah you could you could see it's noticeably shorter let me take it all down and this is the look at my twist compared to what they used to look like so this is with me this is with me stretching it before i could stretch it down to here so i I'm going to go ahead, we're gonna keep it pushing, all right? Um, it's gonna grow back like we already said. I just wanted to give y'all an update what it looks like. I'm gonna show you guys what, um, what I'm gonna be doing, hold on. Yes, girl, yes, Miss Jackson is jumping on the, <laughs> on the rice water bandwagon. So I am going to be documenting this, but I have rarely seen people who do more than a month or so. I, have, I haven't I have seen any, any of those type of videos. If you know of anyone, please share it and let me know so I can research those women too. I have watched the Green Beauty's channel, um, her video, and I've seen several videos. And I've been watching these for a while Nappy Fu has one too on how she does. And there's so many ways to do it. I even saw how the women, the Yao, Y-A-O, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, probably not, how they actually firm it. They take, they firm it for like a week to two weeks. Some of the YouTubers only do it for 24 hours. I'm gonna do mine for three days, three to four days. Um, the reason why it's orange is I have orange pill in here. I also added orange citrus drops, um, essential oil. And yeah, this is gonna be sitting here um, for three days. Yeah, you won't see the rice water results until, what is that, six months later. That's like July, mid-July, okay? And so what I'm gonna have to do so that I could just focus on my regimen is do all of these, um, the last four videos, like within the next two or three weeks, which I can do, I can do that. I have some sitting out here to review for next week, and then I'll just schedule everything out accordingly. So yes, you guys. And I hear that it smells like, it smells horrible. Let me know, any any of you who've done it. I think this would be very doable for me because I won't be having any extra things I need to do as far as um, videos for y'all. I'll just be working on my hair and that's it. So anyway, you guys, I think that'll be it for this vlog. It's getting long. I know it's getting long and I got stuff to do today. And the next time you guys see me or see us, it will be for JB's birthday week. Yes, and I think I will start that I'll be gathering some stuff for his room, redesign re or redecoration, and we'll start from there. All right, you guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.